In this video, we are going to have a look at the Photoshop interface. Open up Photoshop and you should see something similar to this. I'm using Photoshop CS6 on Windows, but if you're using a different version or platform, don't worry, everything is almost identical. At the top is the main menu. The main menu is like the command center in Photoshop, where you can perform various tasks, configure settings, customize your workspace, and getting assistance. Just below the main menu is the context menu. The contents of this menu will change depending on the tool you have selected. Right now the move tool is selected, so the context menu contain additional perimeters related to the move tool. If I switch to the marquee tool, you will notice the perimeters in the context menu is now different, and I can tweak various perimeters related to the marquee tool. Photoshop is a tool based software, and what I mean by that is unless you're performing very straightforward tasks like adjusting image sizes, tweaking brightness and contrast, almost everything you do in Photoshop will involve a tool. The toolbar on the left is where you access these tools. This toolbar allows you to quickly switch between them. There is an area on the bottom where you can dock panels for quick access. By default, the mini bridge and timeline panels are docked. You can add or remove panels to your liking, which we'll be talking about in a later lecture. On the right are two additional panel docks. By default, the inner right dock will be minimized, while the outer dock is expanded. Again, all of these panels can be moved or closed. You can also add additional panels, which we'll be talking about in a later lecture. Last but not least, the area in the middle is the canvas. Let's go ahead and create a new document. Go up to File, New, or press Ctrl N on your keyboard. From the preset dropdown, choose Web, we'll leave the rest as is, then click OK. This white area is your work area, also known as the canvas. All of your work will take place within this area. This wraps up our workspace overview. Next, we are going to have a look at navigating the canvas.